What more is there to say? Lionel Messi has completed the game. Seven Ballon d'Ors, ten La Ligas, four UEFA Champions Leagues, one Copa America, and one FIFA World Cup. The narrative of Messi not being able to carry his national team to World Cup glory like El Diego is over in his very last World Cup game. Poetic, iconic, immortal. Michael Jordan's last shot for the Chicago Bulls comes to mind, a sporting moment that will live forever. Messi was given the Golden Ball Award for the best player at the tournament, which brings us to today's video. Is Messi, at 35 years old, still the best player in world football? The Lionel Messi of 2022, age 35, is a very different player to the Messi of a decade ago in 2012. Back then, he was a dribbling goal scoring hybrid, the best scorer and dribbler in history, who won four Ballon d'Ors in a row between 2008 and 2012 as the head of the snake in Pep Guardiola's Barcelona side. At Barca, Messi was simply unstoppable. Since joining PSG, Messi's game has changed. He has become primarily a creator, a pass-first playmaker, the quarterback who occasionally runs into the end zone and scores goals. For Argentina, he is the lead playmaker and lead goalscorer, playing a similar role to the one he did in his last couple of seasons at Barcelona, when he nearly single-handedly carried Barca to the Champions League in 2019. He is still more than capable of scoring goals and winning football matches by himself, through moments of individual brilliance as we've seen throughout this World Cup. Messi in his peak played either as a false nine or a right-sided forward in a 4-3-3. For Argentina, he plays as a traditional number 10. His role is multifaceted, a number 6, a number 8 or a number 10, depending on what's needed. He can be Iniesta, Xavi or Maradona. At his peak, he could be all three in one swift moment. Now, age 35, he picks and chooses his role. He remains a master of receiving the ball between the lines, finding teammates with his perfect weight of passing. Messi had 18 passes into the penalty box in the World Cup, which led all players. He was joined first in assists, key passes and through balls in the tournament. His dribbling is still elite. Messi drew 22 fouls, the most in the World Cup. He can still beat anyone one-on-one. -on -one. He no longer has the pace to dribble past a whole team like peak Messi could. He can be tackled. He can be got at. He's a little more human now. Only a little. The touch, the ball control, the vision, the drop of the shoulder to create space all remain world class. His finishing still razor sharp. The days of Messi pressing relentlessly from the front are well gone. Anyone who has watched Messi play in the last few years is all too familiar with seeing him stroll around the pitch, picking and choosing when to accelerate into action, like a video game player, ready to burst into life the second you press the gear stick. As Messi has aged, he's found himself dropping deeper and deeper to receive the ball and start attacks. Even penalties, historically Messi's kryptonite, were dispatched with remarkable clutch ability throughout the World Cup. Messi scored six out of seven, including two in the final. Defensively, yes, he needs foot soldiers, men to run for him. For Argentina, he has the freedom to roam offensively, while his teammates are more than happy for Messi to save his energy for bursts of offensive genius. Crucially, Messi has grown as a leader. No longer the shy, timid, baby-faced boy, now he's a tattooed, bearded warrior that struts around the pitch with a swagger. This version of Messi is still a world class player, a unicorn, a game changer. The best player in the world? Kylian Mbappe enters the chat. Whatever your opinion, the 2022 World Cup was the coronation for this once in a century footballer.